So let's talk a little bit tonight about putting maybe that extra bedroom, say in the basement for say a, uh, a relative or a, uh, uh, a hi hired caregiver so they can ha have a place to stay while they're taking care of your, your most seasoned uh, friends or relatives. So sounds good. This is something you folks can do to your home to uh, allow you to stay in your home a little bit longer. We don't like to go to the hospitals. We don't like to see doctors. Uh, none of us really like to, to spend time there. There's only sick people in hospitals. So uh, let's make sure we go ahead. If we've got that extra space, we'll frame out a, uh, you know, say a 12 by 12 with a closet. That's a good size bedroom for your basement. Uh, if you have the ability to... Uh, um, if there's a, a roughed out uh, bathroom down there, you can finish off a bathroom also. But tonight we're just going to be talking about just doing a bedroom so you have that little extra extra space for something that's going to be there to help maybe take care of, say, yourself or a loved one. Um, you know, you might have just had a surgery, uh, you know, uh, you know a, a knee surgery, hip surgery, and just, you know, having that access to somebody that can give you help all along the way really can kind of be one of those things that could can really help and uh, be beneficial to you. So, you know, we want to make sure we get that be bedroom finished off. It's framed out. Let's put some sort of flooring down. Let's get our drywall done. Put a drop ceiling in or a drywall ceiling. Make sure we obviously have good uh, electrical uh, you know, so you yeah, want to make sure you have enough outlets, maybe put in some outlets with uh, USB cords where you can plug in so the, uh, the individual that's either using or staying at your place uh, can go ahead and uh, have a little more access to more modern conveniences. <clears throat> so uh, make sure also having enough lighting because sometimes we have a tendency when we do basements uh, that we under light it or maybe not really light it as well as we should. Um, you know, sometimes we have a tendency to go a little cheaper on that. So you can really find some great uh, recessed lights, some three, three inch uh, recessed lights. They're easy to put in. You can put, and they're very inexpensive now, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I think I just purchased one for $15 the other day, and it was a, a real good buy. So you can put a few of them in the room, say, say in a 12 by 12, maybe four, four to six of them in your room to give you a little bit more uh, balanced light in the room. Also, it doesn't take up any room in that room. So uh, probably some of the biggest benefits here are, number one, uh, having the ability to have somebody help take care of you. That's very important. Let's stay in our homes as long as we can. Uh, we love our homes. We want to, you know, convalesce there. So if this is something that can help you out in the long run, that's an awesome thing. Uh, number two, it's great also for out-of-town guests because sometimes you have a, a you know a two-bedroom condo or a two-bedroom home and you don't have that extra bedroom when, say, relatives come in out of town. It's great for that. And it's also great for resale value. It's just nice to have that extra space. Uh, try to finish it off as nicely, as well appointed as possible so your caregiver, guests, and friends can enjoy it when need be. So thank you again for joining me. I'm Mark with Discover Your Home, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again.